Hi there. Today we're going to be talking about the FTC program structure. The first line you're going to want every FTC program is the package line. This line will tell the code where exactly the Java file is located within the team code for folder, which means it'll give the directory path of that file. You need it at the start of every single FTC program in order for it to work properly. The next block of code you're going to want to have is the import statements. The import statements bring over the necessary packages from other external sources, such as other companies, in order to provide um, the commands necessary to use different devices or uses. An example of this that is most commonly used is the DC motor class, which allows you to use uh, commands that are specifically re related to the DC motor. These are things such as set direction, set speed, or set encoder value. Um, you need to, for every FTC program, regardless of what is in it, you're going to need the imports of teleop, linear OP mode, and autonomous in order to have a functional code. These are essential to having a, having an FTC robot code that runs in the correct logic and pathways. Next, you're going to have a line that starts with at te autonomous or at teleops. This determines what type of code the this program is and it tells us the driver station. The driver station then uses this tag, which is either autonomous or teleop, to put it within the two categories um, so that it's easily accessible for whoever's using the driver station. Um, you also tell the robot or the driver station what the name of your code is in the quotation marks right next to the tag. Next is the class header. This class header's name needs to be exactly the same as the class within the Android Studio file. Additionally, this class should also extend linear OP mode or command OP mode. This helps determine the, lin the flow of the robot. Usually, we'll be using the linear OP mode class structure. Next is the void is the method run OP mode. This block of code will contain all that will be executed when the user clicks initialize. Usually, most of the configuration and definition is done between here and the wait for start command. And next, the wait for start command. So this command simply waits until the robot presses the start button on the driver station. So this allows a gap to set up in the initialization period in the actual running of the robot. Next is the while slash if op mode is active. The command op mode is op mode active gives a boolean value of the program if it's active, if it's running, or if it's not running. You can use this statement to create a command which executes only once or process through the program linearly. This is if you use the if statement, and it's usually used when making autonomous programs. Additionally, you can also use the while statement, saying while if op mode is active, you can make the teleop command go through that code iteratively. Um, this is commonly used in making a teleop program when you need to repeatedly scan for controller input and use that input to determine the robot's speed or movement. 